Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and this time I'm going to jump in as um, Mammon. I think I think I'm going to do little old Mammon. Apparently uh, in a recent patch Mammon did get tweaked quite a bit. Um, so the beggars are much much better now. The the little the little fellas here. So obviously as you guys probably already know, I've uh, I, I've spoken quite a bit about the fact that I thought Mammon was was pretty weak. Um, and his gimmick was sometimes a little unfair, uh, in that sometimes you just wouldn't get much money, sometimes you'd get a lot of money, but these guys just wouldn't pay out, and yeah, just various things. Basically, it made it really hard to get items, but the developer has made it so that item payouts come much more quickly. Um, there's no guarantee of them, but they are much, much more quick uh, to, to give you uh, items. And also, if they do pay out with spiders and flies, you... Um, this time around, you actually do uh, get the. What was it again? Hmm. Let me try and remember. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. So the spiders and flies are going to give you more spiders and flies than they used to. That's what it is. Sorry, completely forgot what I was going to say there. I, I will be honest. I've literally just got out of bed. Um, and I, I mean literally just. It is. Uh, it is currently uh, eleven minutes past nine, and I got up at nine. Um, <laughs> so I'm just like rocking straight onto this video. Basically, I've got something on at like half ten, so I wanted to get this video out of the way with, um, not out of the way with as such, but like I wanted to get it done first. Missing out on all my money here. This is annoying. Also, rooms like this are difficult. Like the fire can go over walls, but like I can't shoot over walls. Anyways. Right, let's keep it moving. But yeah, I wanted to give this character another go and hopefully see if um, if it's a little bit more in our favour this time around. Because previously, yeah, it's not really been as such. But yeah, even if we get spiders and flies like we did before, we used to get lots of spiders and flies. Uh, we'll get a lot more of them this time around at least. So let's give him some money. Um, there you go, we got some tears up already. That's like pretty great. Um, definitely don't mind that. Okay, not too bad. We're getting money off of these guys pretty regularly. Oh, dude, don't steal my charges. I don't even know if I need them, but don't steal them. We'll kill our pigs as well. And we'll see what else he gives us. Hello, little beggar. They need a minimap icon as well, really. There you go, there's a look up. See, we're already getting better stuff than we got before. Getting stat upgrades is real, real nice. Also, this character, I think you start with better stats now, maybe? Or maybe the stats on this guy were always really good. I don't remember, but still, our stats are real good right now. Our starting stats, 4.75 damage and 3 fire rate. I mean, obviously, we didn't start with 3 fire rate. We've got 3 fire rate now. Pretty good stuff. It's pretty good stuff. My god. I've never noticed how thick the sternies are. They have such dummy thick cheeks. Lovely. Right. Let's try and get our bosses done and hopefully get some pennies in the meantime. The spinning pennies could... I don't know if they can, but I think they can drop from the uh, from the flies that are uh, spawned from this fight. I guess we'll find out. We can spawn from the boss at least. We found that out. That's good. We got up to 5 cent again, so we'll see if we get an item. Lovely, got another one there. And a pretty good item as well. Uh, right, so let's carry on this way carry on this way. Let's see what he gives us. Another. See, this has just been... Oh, that is not what I meant to do at all. My bad. Right. Let me do this and we bomb on birth. We've got temporary stat-ups for them guys there. But, oh, well. Right. Let's keep it going. Lovely stuff. I've wasted a bomb that I was going to use in my secret room there. But, oh, well. Let's keep on stepping down. See what we can do. Why? What completion max we need to do is this character? Um, okay, we've got quite a lot we need to do, to be fair. Uh, as for the question of the day today, um, what's something do you th that you think is um, misrepresent misrepresented pretty often in media? What's something that you feel like could get like better coverage or just correct coverage? Because there's a lot of things nowadays that get entirely misrepresented all of the time. 
And it, it kind of sucks, doesn't it? It kind of sucks. Hermit. Well, let's let's destroy these before we uh, hurt ourselves with them. Yeah, I don't really care about these wisps. They're gonna they're gonna go anyways. I wanna get as much money as I possibly can. At least I know that each stage of this guy can drop money now as well, which might mean we get a good bit in this room. It might mean we get no more in this room. You never know. I was hoping for a bit more than one penny, but I guess I can't complain. Oh my god, that, that dude was moving at a million miles an hour. Calm down. We did get a trinket. Um, I actually quite like this trinket. We'll take um, the moon. Yeah, basically every room we get random effects. It can be all sorts of stuff. There can be weird sound effects. There can be bad effects. There can be good effects like frailty on all the enemies. There's all sorts of good stuff we can get here. So pretty happy to see this. Pretty happy to see it. You're a champion, right? Right. Quickly jump in here. Grab ourselves some money. Keep forgetting our item rooms are just money. We've got a good amount of money now. We will hopefully get an item this time around. See, now I've got frailty on me. It goes both ways. I like a trinket that can just give you random effects. Like any item that gives you random effects. It's always fun. Bit of wackiness. Um, we'll use our meat grinder. See, there you go. Look, we got a lot more spiders and flies there than we normally would get. Another tears up. Loving that. And finally got an item. Throwable um, the little puff stool. I actually quite like this. I've been taking some bad damage here, but it's okay. But yeah, finally feel like this character's got something interesting about it. And the gimmick is less gimmicky, more more actually useful. But yeah, this puff stool is actually really good. It has a very, very large radius, and it lasts a long time. Was I meant to kill him first or last? I don't know. <laughs> Dude's struggling. Right, boss time. Oh, we got uh, healed there by, I'm guessing, our trinket. I'm not, I'm not actually sure what healed us there. I'm going to guess it was a trinket. I can't think it was anything else. Okay. You've got that guy inside your head now. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Beautiful. Extra penny as well. An item I'm not particularly enthused by, but I'll take. Um, and I'll quickly hop back and grab, to be fair, one, one thing I could do is this. See what we get in here. Yeah, I mean, obviously money's super worthwhile for us. I'm happy about that. But I should probably go back and grab our uh, world card for the next floor, realistically, shouldn't I? Range up, lovely. Oh, God, I can't even hit these things. Oh, you did give me a penny, though. Lovely. I'll quickly check what's in here. Unfortunately, a whole lot of nothing. Careful, your furs got powerful. I don't know if that means they do full heart damage. I'm not entirely sure. We're getting quite a lot of money here. Again, the heart there. Yeah, you get some good effects on this. Some good effects. Like I said, some of the negative ones can be particularly negative. For the most part, I'm liking this a lot. Oh, dude, the money. It's lovely. It's exactly what we need. Game knows how to treat me right. Right, anyways, we've done our rooms. Let's go into our secret room and grab that world card. Nope. It wasn't the secret room. Was it? Was it this room up here that has the world card? I definitely have a world card somewhere, right? That's the hermit. There's the world card. Okay. I knew I had one somewhere around. I just couldn't figure out where. Right. To the next floor. We'll pop that straight away. We can also pop our little uh, meat grinder straight away as well. Get working on that. Uh, I will quickly actually check out what's going on in our shop. Just in case there's an item that's better than potentially what we could get from our 
Meat grinder. Jumper cables is good, but I don't think it's super necessary. Soul heart is also good, but I think our money is better spent on trying to get more items. So I'll I'll stick to this for now. I like uh, I like how we look with our little little heels on. It's kind of cute. Right, good stuff. We'll pop this, pop that. The world. More range, lovely. That's an item. You see what I mean? We're getting, like, the, the payouts are just way more balanced now. It's not like we've had anything great in terms of items, but it's just good to be getting items at, at all, realistically, isn't it? Um, bomb here. Bomb here. Lovely stuff. We might as well take the red heart as well. We do need that for our ability. Oh, dude. I thought you'd be stunned and wouldn't move. That's not how that ended up working out, is it? Just look at the radius of the stun effect. It's crazy. Lovely. And a red heart as well. Very nice. Okay, now we are the one that's... Uh, Frail. I think that just means we take full heart damage. I'm not entirely sure, though. <laughs> I love these carrot enemies. They're so stupid. Right. I want to try and do as many rooms as I can to get Meat Grinder going. I think that was just a pill that we took there. I think it said your tears feel dense. Is that what it said? Not too bad, not too bad. No more money. Is this a mini boss here? I think it is, isn't it? A lovely little mini boss. Easy. I mean, our damage right now is so good that, like, we're having an easy time. Another world card. We'll save it for the next floor, I guess. Meat Grinder is nearly ready. Oh, God. Taking some real bad damage here. Okay, meat grind. We've got quite a lot of money to give this guy, so hopefully we get an item. Or more luck, lovely. Not opposed to that either. Trinket, unfortunately not a great one. Shot speed. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh god, I didn't see Explodey Boys. I think my flies took care of them to start with. None of them gave us a spinning coin. Really? Oh, Smooth Stone? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Smooth Stone is incredible. Smooth Stone allows us to do a ton more damage to bosses, and obviously I love that. Should have put my toadstool down, but it's fine. We got through it. One penny off another another use of our lad here. We always want to use the same one as well to make sure we're getting maximum value. Okay, you be a champion. Slightly annoying, but it's just I like the way he's purple to like blend in with the, blend in with the other enemies there. It's like don't look at me. I'm I'm fine. I just blend in with the rest of my family. <laughs> oh, give me yes, no, I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, dude, this stunning effect's just so good. Right, quickly go back this way. An item, Sivu player. No item. Chance for rocks to be spiked. Um. Hmm, I do wonder how much of a knockback that gives you, and it also might increase our chance for, um, for the red spiked rocks, so maybe that's useful. Look, Penny, our luck is, uh, is doing real well right now. Quite like that. There's a lot of spiked rocks, though. Back we go. 
hopefully these last two purchases on this guy will give us an item. Sometimes it takes a while, as I said, it's not always guaranteed for an item or anything anymore. But it never was, you know what I mean. Hey, there's damage though. And there's a trinket. Okay, so at this point I think we plop this guy down. And we bomb them both. Get a little bit of money back. And get some temporary stats for the rest of this floor. It'll help, help us out with the boss. Pop our well card on the next floor as well. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, the knockback increase seems pretty decent, to be honest. Soul Heart there's lovely. We've got enough damage to kill these little purple buggers in one hit now as well, which is nice. I love the rework of this guy. With the, uh, the flies surrounding him. The poot has, like, been attached to him. It's pretty cool. Makes him a lot more deadly. Give me the goddamn coin. Hey, Milk of Baphomet's pretty good. I like it. Right, down we go. I'm trying to sort of be a little bit speedy here to make Boss Rush and Hush. I think that'd be a good thing to try and get done. Okay, that didn't work at all. I mean, it kind of did. It got that guy. And in here we've got more pills. I mean, I am taking pills at the minute, so I think I'll just go for it. Are you a wizard? Paralysis. Plus love. I don't like the way our face looks now. We've taken milk of bad from it. We've got like pig ears, but normal Isaac face. It's, it's kind of disturbing, I'll be honest. Kind of forgot I had a uh, good old are you a wizard here. Oops. It's okay, we can we can somewhat make it work. <laughs> we'll get in there. Okay, no, it's gone now. Good. Very annoying for a short while there. Come on, more pennies. Yes. Keep giving me the pennies. I need them. It's good stuff, right? Check what our item rooms got. Ah, oh, I said check what item rooms got. This is what I'm looking for, look. More spike rocks means more of these these uh, rocks. Unfortunately, this one didn't have a cracked key, but they often do. Hey, piggy. Right, meat grind just outside here, I think. Another damage up. Dude, the stat capsules. We've not been getting many items, but the stat capsules have been pretty good. And unfortunately, Yet another active item. I'm not a big fan of that happening. <laughs> We're getting actives from this dude quite a lot. Come on, my mini Isaac I, uh, warriors. My little army. Oh, bugger. Didn't mean to walk directly into that guy. Is that a tinted rock there? I think it is. Beautiful. Yeah, I kind of like this uh, this trinket with the extra spiked rocks. It's, a, it's got a bit of danger to it, but the, the knockback seems very noticeable. Um, and like I said, it does give us a chance for other stuff that's pretty useful too. Do you know what? It's pretty worthwhile, that is. Sack of pennies. Every two rooms getting a penny of some variety. Seems like it could be goddamn pretty good for us, so uh, I'm happy with it. Although I spent like 7 cent on it. I think 7 cent is a pretty decent cost, to be honest. I was hoping for a keeper's uh, soul of keeper to get a ton of money, but I think this might actually end up giving us quite a lot of money over the course of the run. An equal, if not more, amount. So I'm not particularly displeased at all. I'm trying to do all of my rooms just to try and get... Um, Highest chance of getting more money as possible. But I realise that is making everything take longer. Another one of these. That's what we're looking for, baby. I'm just going to use it here. Hope for the best. Could have done better with that, but it's fine. But yeah, we're going to be seeing quite a lot of those, I think. Right. 
keep moving on. And we'll speed over to the boss. Calm down with your spiders. Oh god. That's a lot of spiders. That is a lot of spiders. I got a uh, chance to play my second uh, D and D session, my second D and D session of my campaign that I'm doing at the minute. I mentioned a few weeks ago. Finally, got a chance to play our second session. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We we sort of started on this investigation um, of some kidnappings in the area that we're in. Uh, we're kind of we're like adventurers under the guides of the government. We've kind of like signed this contract with the government to be like adventurers for them and, and help solve some of the crimes and issues with the uh, city, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, and my, my character is like incredibly char uh, charismatic and um, sort of like really... I, I, I'm playing as a warlock, but um, I've got like super high charisma, so I'm kind of like the, the talker of the group. But I'm also playing as a changeling, which means I can change how I look. Um, and my main sort of persona, the, the main way that I look. Okay, we have smelted this trinket now, which I don't know if is a perfectly good idea or not. Um, oh, hello. I forgot about you. Hey, Pascal Candle. Good stuff. Um, yeah, and so, like, I changed the way I look, and my, my base persona, like, the, the person that I look like and, and walk around as, and everyone knows me as, um, is based off of a, um, a celestial, um, I can't remember what they're called now. It's, it's it's part of my backstory. Do you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna look? Let me have a look what the celestials are called. Um, notes. It's in my notes somewhere. I think it's a solar they're called something like that. All the way at the bottom. Um, solar, yeah, solar, solar. How do how how you wanna pronounce it? Um, so my guy looks like just like. Basically, I've described him as looking exactly like Prince Charming from Shrek. <laughs> um, and so, like, I'm sort of meant to be really charming, very personable, like, good-looking guy that people want to talk to. And um, we went into the shop. We're trying to buy some clothes. Uh, some, like, like tattered clothes. Some purposely tattered clothes so that we blend in with sort of the street urchins and stuff like that. Um... And um, we went to this little store that was selling a bunch of, basically, second-hand, second-hand goods. Uh, Double-used sort of thing. Um, and um, I, uh, oh, God damn it, I really didn't get either of those. I um, decided it'd be good to maybe, maybe try and, ooh, that's pretty useful. Um, I decided it'd maybe be an, an interesting idea to try and um, flirt a little bit with the shopkeep, because it was a woman, um, and see if we can get ourselves a bit of a discount. <laughs> and <laughs> I uh, I had to roll to see how well uh, my chance was working. Basically, um, I picked up straight away that she was somewhat interested, just based on the, um, the way the DM played her. Um, I was like, okay, okay, I, I see where this could go. Oh, really? I'll look down. I need all that look. Uh, but I was like, I, I see where this could be going. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try and do a, a bit of flirty flirt for a lower price. Um, and straight away, I have to roll to see if it works. And I roll a natural 20. And this woman is just smitten. <laughs> um, and so, like, I get, like, a ridiculously low price for everything. I think it was meant to be, like, it was obviously nothing cost a ton. Um, I, I think it was meant to be, like, one silver, um, and eight copper for everything that I bought. And it ended up being four copper for everything that I bought instead. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Savings. And obviously, it doesn't sound like a lot. We only started with, like, 15 gold. So, any any sort of savings of any amount is pretty good. Oh, we've missed boss rush, unfortunately. I didn't realize we were so late to it. Hey, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty goddamn good item right there. Don't mind if I do. We can still try and do Hush. We've done Delirium, apparently, at some point. But yeah, now we get Spectral and Herming after our tears travel a certain distance, which is pretty awesome. Also, we're going to get pennies for picking up hearts as well, so... Let's try and find some hearts. Oh, you buggers. You were just lying in wait. I didn't see you at all. I 
can see the knockback working for us there. Cheeky little fellas. But yeah, so that, that was like a really fun interaction. Just rolling a nat 20 on uh, on something that's like kind of stupid, but I enjoyed it. Oh god, we're only on depths 1. Okay, we were way off boss rush. <laughs> what the fuck? He jumps on his head. That's amazing. Okay, I'm taking some bad damage right now. Let's be careful. Can you get a little bit closer, my guy? Oh god, you're on his head. Kind of scary. Well, this is a lot of money. Oh, dude. With the active items. Do you know what? I kind of want to take no because it's, it's pissing me off. I'm going to take no. As much as this is good, like, the active items are really annoying. There's a, there's a few different things in this game, like the future floor and stuff, where I, I really think that the ability for them to drop active items properly ruins the fun. Like, those guys, it's fine that they can drop active items, but goddamn, have a reduced chance or something. I can't remember if I put another meat grinder boy back over here somewhere. This is why they need a minimap icon, because I, I must have dropped one down. There you go. I thought I did. A good item there. Right, let's keep it going. I'm gonna quickly check out my shop just because um I think I I think I ought to buy some HP. <laughs> my HP is not looking great right now. Sad times. Honestly, I've got a lot of luck. I'm gonna do this. pretty worthwhile. <laughs> that was pretty worthwhile. Okay. Up to 52 cent. We should be able to use meat grinder pretty much as much as we want. But I do, I do really want to see some, uh, some HP coming our way because otherwise things are going to be a little bit tough for us going forward. I mean, that's, that's good. Oh, why'd I do that? I'm stupid. Okay, golden bombs. That makes me feel better about bombing this guy now. Okay, let's keep it moving, keep it grooving, down we go. But yeah, we lost some luck, but I think our luck is still incredibly good. So I'm not that bothered. Got poopy tears now as well, which I very much like. Turn everything into turds. We've got good luck with it as well, so we'll be doing it quite a lot. More money. With this meat grinder, we should be able to get an item payout pretty much straight away. And with the nurturing kit, we finally have a way of uh, not having to deal with constant um, active items. Yeah, you need to go away across, Stony Boy. Don't much think so from you. Ah, oh, that's not secret room. Wow, okay. Alright, pop this down. We should be able to get an item payout from this guy pretty fast. Hopefully we don't have to drop too much money on him. Nope, we didn't. Ooh, Soul of Eden, you say. That's rather nice. Oh, you goddamn idiot. I mean, it's kind of nice to, uh... To use my thingy there, but that is not what I intended at all. My bad. Let's come back for that soul and just use the cracked key here for a second. Good. Crooked penny to try and double the money, I guess. We're turning most things into poop here at this point. Oh, the money just keeps rolling in, baby. This is great. This is lovely. See what I mean? This is why I took this whetstone thing. It's it's pretty amazing for us, to be honest. 
There's a secret room. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm surprised they went sticky nickels. I was, I was expecting to be uh, fooled there. I thought I'd been punked. Alright, where are we going to use this crack key? Ow. Really? You give me Curse of the Tower as my random milk of Baphomet? Right. Back we go. Try and find a good place to use this crack key. Sadly, that was not a good place to use my crack key. I'm at 90 cent. God damn. Boys be paying out. Probably should have used that Soul of Eden on that bed bug, to be honest. Bed bug is not all that useful. Right. Let us go. Let us go. Don't know if that stun's going to help too much, but I was, this is why I did it. Because I was thinking, when enemies spawn in, we can stun them. That'd be ideal. Helps with the foot a little bit as well, I guess. Ow. Did get an angel deal, lovely. Uh, we are going light path here. And he takes half our money. Is this even worth it? Fuck it, I'll just do it. Okay, no, that was pretty worth it. Heart shape balloon is gonna save our life. <laughs> That's a lot of money to take, but still. Do you know what? Let's um let's get in here and soul of Eden this. Why not? Yeah, there's a lot of money to spend on that. I kind of forgot about how that works, but I suppose it balances it pretty well. We got helicopter boys, I'll take helicopter boys any day of the week. Right, down we go. I don't know if this creep... It doesn't deal damage, okay. Oh, dude, all that money disappeared so fast. Damn it. Did you get a red rune? Yeah, all that money disappeared so goddamn fast. I was like, there's so much money, this is gonna be great. And it's like, oh, it's all gone. Okay, I could do this again, but I'm not... I, a five luck is my lowest amount that I'm gonna go to. I don't wanna go any lower than this. Guppy's collar, lovely. Look down. Puberty. Right. Health is not great, but otherwise things are going reasonably well. Turn everything into turds, and all will be okay. Thank you for nuking everything. Please don't nuke me though, boys. I know you like to do that, but... I'd really be sad if you did. Ooh, okay. So, we can actually trigger Meat Grinder. Okay, okay, we need to be aware of that. We, we can trigger Meat Grinder to, 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 to use our heart balloon thing. That's kind of useful. Continuum, not bad, not bad. God damn, I should have saw that thing where picking up hearts gave us stuff. That would be mighty useful. Oh, another luck penny. Beautiful. Good thing about sack of pennies is giving us all sorts of different types of pennies. Oh, that was close. More money. There's a soul heart there as well. Okay. Now we've got a soul heart, I do feel a lot better. So, like, we don't want to use meat grinder right now even though it's ready. We want to wait a little bit. We want to use Meat Grinder now, and then it gives us a Soul Heart. See? There's a way to play it. A 
28% chance for you to transform enemies into a weaker version of themselves. Damn, okay, yes. We can turn them into poop or a weak version of themselves. It's all good. We got there in a roundabout way. Angel deal once again. More zealot hearts. Beautiful stuff. A hey, the butterfly as well. Okay, we're getting some good items here. It's costing us. It's certainly costing us, but... Butterfly is real, real good. Lower hitbox, large herming on certain tiers. Also love the rework of this guy. <clears throat> We've already been in here now, haven't we? That we have, that we have. Oh, to be fair, oh, I could have got the key piece sucked up. Oh, well, with that red rune. It's fine, it's fine. Three Lemmageddon Wisps each floor at the moment. Really don't like the idea of this room. I don't even really know what happened there. I think I walked into one of the spiked rocks. My bad. Oh, I'm just spending keys everywhere. Stupid. Just stop. That's one random locust when collecting pickups. Nah. Okay. More damage. Lovely being given us stats like crazy. Cern Bond. I think I'll take Cern Bond. You know what? I'll, I'll keep nerdish until, until you pay out. What's this? Five seconds after entering an uncleared room, Isaac screams in pain, dealing damage and knocking enemies back. Interesting idea. Cool. Cern Bond, real good. Our uh, tier effects get imparted onto our familiars. That will work for helicopter boys and the like. Be pretty good. It shall be pretty good. Yeah, look at that. He's firing the butterfly shots uh, and continuum. And he'll be firing the poop shots and everything. Cern Bond is just incredibly useful. Okay, he, he nuked me there. Well, I'm not too happy about it. I respect him still. I respect the hustle. Hey, he opened the secret room for me this time though, so sometimes you never know. Sometimes it can be somewhat useful. I got our keys back. I'm not even in time for a hush here. We've been a slow ass boy. Ooh, that's a. That's, this is new. I don't recognize this pattern. Look at him go. My helicopter boys are the best. They're the best boys you've ever seen. I'm getting a lot better at that attack. Am I going up right? We are going up. Okie dokie. So we're not going to get a lot of completion marks done this run, but we're at least getting one. At this point, we don't have the money to be utilizing our friend. Shot speed up. Decent. Oh god. Ha ha ha! See, that's where the spiked rocks come into play as well. The spiked rock spawned in the middle of the room right under this guy and did a ton of damage to him. Pretty darn valuable, I'd say. Pretty darn valuable. Before I absolutely wreck my luck, I could. And get a bunch of money. Hey, we got Shoop. I think I'm okay for Shoop though, thank you. I suppose I could red rune it. Probably should. Let's get back in there and red rune shoot. There you go. Beautiful. Here comes a little locust boy for us. Don't mind that at all. I think I'm missing out on a lot of money because of this item that turns things into poop. 
I think when it turns them into poop, it, it ruins their chance of them dropping money. I think that's why I've not been getting much money recently. I mean, it's fine. This run's still great, but yeah, it's causing some slight issues with uh, our economy. I think we've uh, entered the stage of this run where we're doing very, very well, and we don't have to worry about that too, too much. Gotta remember these uh, these light patterns aren't always the same nowadays with uh, the reworked furs mod. We did get a kill there, nice. Straight to the next floor. See what our four items might be. Weird, I feel like I went really slow, but I'm, this last part of the stage of the game's been very quick. All very good. All very good. Especially this one with the luck that we have right now. Be shooting out fires quite a lot, I think. Heart shit balloons doing good for us as well. <laughs> that enemy was meant to be one I couldn't kill, and it just turned him into poop <laughs> straight away. Is that a Yera rune? I think it is. Yera, yeah, it is. I love the uh, the, the the thingy rune rocks. They're really cool. Oh my lord. I was saying about my economy being bad. No point saying that now, god damn. Not much from you. See, like this guy, I think I just turned him into a poof. I mean, he already is a poof, but you know what I mean. Oh wait, he was a boss, doesn't matter. I couldn't do it with a boss. I thought it was just a regular poop enemy. Celestial crown, fucking love that item. Amazing. We've we've entered the stage of this uh of this run that is is quite crazy. Just annihilating everything, having super high luck. This guy's just eating everything here. I need you to calm down, sir. This has been a real fun run. I told you this guy has changed. He's, he's way, way, way more fun than he used to be. He deserved a second look. We love to see it. We love to see it. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard either. We're just waiting on the boss armor to dissipate. But the fires are uh, making this a lot easier as well. Really cool attack, that. Really cool attack. There you go. Another new unique item unlocked. And we'll end off the run there. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.